Mujer Negra, Black Woman, by Nancy Morejon. Still, I smell the foam of the sea they forced me to cross. Night. I cannot recall the night, nor could I even recall the ocean itself. But never have I forgotten the first seagull I glimpsed. High up, the clouds, like innocent, ever-present witnesses. Perhaps I've not forgotten my lost coast, nor even my ancestral tongue. They dropped me here, and here I've lived. And because I work like a dog, here is where I was reborn. And I sought to rely on epic story of the Mandinga after epic story. I rebelled. His grace purchased me in a public square. I embroidered his grace's cloak, and I bore him a son. My son was given no name. In his grace, he died at the hands of an impeccable English lord. I trudged forward. This is the land where I was lashed and beaten. Upside down, I paddled along all its rivers. Under its sun, I sowed, harvested, and ate none of the crops. I gave a slave barracks for a house. I got a slave barracks for a house. I myself carried the stones to build it, but I sang in the natural beat of the nation's birds. I rose in rebellion. In this very land, I touched the warm blood and rotten bones of many others like me, brought here, or not, as I was. Then I stopped thinking about the way to Guinea forever, to Guinea or Benin, was I thinking about Madagascar or Cape Verde? I worked even more. Then I laid the foundation for my best millenary chant, chant and my hope. Here I built my world. I went to the mountains. My true independence happened at the stockade and I rode with Maceo's cavalry, only one century later alongside my descendants from atop a blue mountain. I came down from the Sierra to put an end to capitalists and usurers and generals and the petite bourgeois. Now I am. Only now do we hold and create. Nothing is beyond our reach. Our land. Ours the sea and sky. Ours the magic and the amazing dreams. My equals. Here I see you dance around the tree we planted for communism. Its generous wood is clearly resounding.